Hey guys, what is up? John here from FlightMikeAlpha.com here at AOPA headquarters. And obviously AOPA does a lot of great things for us pilots. One of those things, or one part of AOPA, is the You Can Fly initiative. And one big part of the You Can Fly initiative is over a million dollars in free money, a million dollars in scholarships for 2020. Hey guys, what's up? We are here with Taz today. Yes. Taz, very nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. And Taz works here at AOPA in the scholarship department, I guess would be the yes. easiest way to explain it, part mm -hmm. of the You Can Fly Foundation. And got some questions about the scholarships for 2020. Okay. So basically the most important question, how much free money is there in 2020? So for 2020, we are awarding over a million dollars. Awesome. So that translates into how many scholarships are going to go out? So. About 120 scholarships. About 120 scholarships. Mm -hmm. How many applicants do you typically see in a regular year? So last year we received over 5,500 applications. Okay, so pretty good odds. I mean, you know, it's, it's better than the lottery anyways. <laughs> uh, better than buying a lotto ticket. So out of that 120-ish uh, awards, what's the average award amount do you see? Or what's the, how much money can they get? So our scholarship ranges from twenty five hundred to ten thousand dollars. Okay, and what are the scholarship categories? Like, how do you determine the amounts and who gets how much? So we have the high school category, mm -hmm. um, and it's ten thousand dollars each. Mm -hmm. um, the teacher category, which is the same, and then for primary and advanced, it varies from twenty five hundred to seventy five hundred. Okay, and so primary and advanced, that's going to be primary is just anybody doesn't matter age, gender, or anything they can receive. A scholarship towards private pilot training. Yes, that's correct. Okay, and so twenty five hundred to ten thousand, basically in that range. Mm -hmm. And then for advanced, what would that be? What kind of ratings? For for that, it would be commercial um, instruments, mm -hmm. CFI. Okay. Those type of things. Yeah. yeah, adding on you know additional ratings makes correct. sense. So, what is the selection process like then? You know, how does you know somebody applies for the scholarship, and what does that look like? Like, when can they start applying? I guess would be the best question. So they can start applying first week of January. Mm -hmm. So we encourage them to get the applications in early. And is there an advantage to doing it early? Yes, there is a big advantage. So we have the priority consideration deadline. So we are looking to award or give special preference for applications received by March first. Okay, so that's coming soon. Yes. So it'd be a good idea to click on the link in the description below on this video and fill out your application. So when you have somebody apply, what are you really looking for to decide whether or not you're going to award them a bunch of free money? Okay, so we have the application um, and it consists of them submitting two recommendations. Mm -hmm. So two people that can speak highly on their behalf. Yep. Um, we're looking at their passion for flying mm -hmm. um, and we're looking at extracurricular activities and how they want to contribute to aviation. Okay. What, uh, out of the past few years, how many pilots has the foundation made? So, so far we have 49 pilots and the number is growing. Okay, so you've given away more than 49 scholarships right. uh, in the past few years, and then 2020 is going to be a big year with over 120, and as people are going through flight training, so you've got 49 so far. Mm -hmm. And what's the easiest way for people, besides just clicking the link in the description below, if they have any questions on this stuff, what's the easiest way for them to get in touch with you on how to complete their application or how to apply for this? So, ftscholarship at aopa.org. Okay, ftscholarship at aopa.org, AOPA yes. Awesome email address. And then you have the PIC line here. Yes. So you could they just call in the phone number, yes. they'll get a hold of presumably you. Definitely. <laughs> yeah. And uh, now what if, you know, it's a pretty cool cause. Obviously, like over a million dollars doesn't come out of thin air. So what's the easiest way for someone to contribute to this? Or how could they go about contributing and adding, you know, $5, $50, $50,000 mm -hmm. to your scholarship fund? The best way to be on our website. Okay. On mm -hmm. the website, aopa.org. Yes. And uh, then, of course, there's the phone number. There's the email address, there's all these different ways to get in touch with them. Yes. It is a really cool program and they are actually making pilots successfully. So very cool. So yeah, lots of free money on the table, lots of awesome things that AOPA is doing with the scholarship initiative, with the You Can Fly initiative. And that whole idea is that you can fly. If you're watching this video, you can fly. If you are a pilot and haven't flown in years, they can help you get back into it. If you want to become a pilot, they can help you get into it. So lots of awesome parts of it. Obviously, there's more than just the scholarships, and that's why we went ahead and found Les and sat down with him to ask him what are all the different parts and pieces of the You Can Fly initiative here at AOPA. So I'm here with Les Smith, the uh, one of the head guys here for You Can Fly, that brand at AOPA that we hear about. And the idea is you can fly, whether you're a pilot, not a pilot, whoever you are, you can fly an airplane. Les is one of the guys here at AOPA that makes all that happen. So Les, what 
is the You Can Fly brand? What is that made up of? What you is can, the mission? Oh, I'm sorry. You Can Fly is aimed at the declining pilot population. Mm -hmm. And we use four different pressure points to, that we think give the greatest results on that. The first one is high schools. Mm -hmm. We have a curriculum that's free for the high school to use, mm -hmm. ninth through 12th grade. Mm -hmm. uh, the, we're working on 11th, 12th will be, we'll, we'll work on next. We've been mm -hmm. cascading our way through. Them. Sure. Uh, number two is flight training, working on tools and resources for uh, better outcomes around mm -hmm. flight training. I think you mentioned 30% roughly or what? Yeah, we're through. seeing about 30-ish percent of the pilots that actually begin flight training become a pilot. Yeah. Not, that's not a passing rate. We want better. So Les is working to fix that. So we, we've got tools and resources for flight schools such as customer service experience. Mm -hmm. We do a survey nationally across the country. We recognize the schools that are doing well and have good, good feedback from their students. And then we have uh, report cards available for those who could you know, use some mm -hmm. improvement. The third category is flying clubs. Mm -hmm. uh, a flying club makes an aviation more affordable and accessible. Mm -hmm. Like I mentioned, if your starter, if a starter breaks, yeah. uh, then you can, you know, having to share that with five others or four others yeah. makes it much cheaper. Certainly. Coming right behind that though is the camaraderie and the sense of community. It's like, mm -hmm. hey, did you go flying this week? Oh yeah. no, well come with me. Yeah. That side of thing. You get to fly more. Yeah, exactly. And then fourth is rusty pilot. If mm -hmm. you've been away from it because of job or, or, mm -hmm. or school or something has taken you away, then you can get back to it uh, with, a, we, with a, a way to start. That would be the Rusty Pilot Seminar, a three-hour seminar. talks about mm -hmm. what's changed since the last time you were flying, and you'll get, a, you'll get an endorsement for your logbook for mm -hmm. the ground portion of your flight review. Mm -hmm. We conduct them at flight schools. So that you can take that, turn right around, book with an instructor, get your get back in the left seat, and get back in the left seat. Yeah, yeah, perfect. That's what that's about. Mm -hmm. Fifth element, mm -hmm. along with that, are the ambassadors, and I lead that team across the country. Uh, they are the local resources, feet on the street. They're your free consultant to help you start a flying club. They conduct mm -hmm. the Rusty Pilot seminars. All of those things that the tools and resources. So that those are four done pillars here. of you can fly are really administered boots on the ground by these five ambassadors yep. all around the country. And these guys, they're even out there, they're giving away rides and stuff. That's correct. Yeah. yeah. So if you're in one of these areas, so we have Florida, Texas, all the flight training hotspots, really, all the flying hotspots. Yeah. Well, you have these people, you want to start a flying club? Call Jamie Beckett in Florida. You know, you're in Michigan, you want to start a flying club? Call Andy Miller. You want to go for a ride because, you know, you think you might want to learn to fly one day? Call up these guys, maybe they'll take you for a ride in their airplane. Yep. Um, and then if you live outside this area, you know, uh, if you live in Kansas. Yeah. We don't, we don't cover the whole country with ambassadors, but we do cover the country. You mm -hmm. know, we're, and call the PIC. Tell mm -hmm. them you're, look, you're interested in, in a Rusty Pilot seminar or that you're interested in starting a flying club. They'll connect you to the right group here and you can fly that are working on the various initiatives. Awesome. Very cool. Well, that's, that's awesome news. It's great information. Hopefully uh, more folks utilize the resources out there that can help you fly. We'd love to. So uh, really good stuff. And I think next, I want to learn more about the curriculum. I think I'll yeah. sit down with uh, Eric and Thomas and uh, ask them some questions about how to get that in the high schools because we have to keep that funnel filled That's right. of all those pilots coming in there. Absolutely. Um, just out of curiosity, the Rusty Pilots Program, that's been around for a couple of years, it's offered online now too. So if you can't make it to a seminar, That's correct. you can see an event of, or events calendar of local seminars in your area on the website. If you can't make it to a local one, you can do it online. How many pilots are, has it brought back in to the game? Not made new pilots, but how many pilots has it brought back in? Because we ask you to tell us when you're done and when you get your flight review and get mm -hmm. back in the left seat, we give you a patch. Yep. Because we ask that, we know that over 6,000 pilots are back in the left seat flying again. That's awesome. So yeah. that's what You Can Fly is doing for you. It's making it so you can fly. And if you're wondering how you can fly still after watching this video, well, call the PIC line and tell them, hey, I got this question. Hey, I want to fly. What can you guys do to help me? And Les and a whole team of people are here in Frederick, Maryland and all over the country to help that happen. Uh, I'll make help. that happen for you. So Ready thank you, Les. Thank Appreciate you. it. So yeah, four different parts to the You Can Fly initiative with the fifth part being the ambassadors, the boots on the ground all around the country. Really cool initiative. It truly is something that helps create more pilots and helps the pilots that are already out there get back in the air and fly more. This is actually one of the student briefing rooms they have here at AOPA on top of the auditorium and the simulators and all that other stuff. And look, hey, there's our trailer right there out in the parking lot. Well, that's our house while we're traveling around the Northeast. 
Uh, but either way, super cool initiative. And one of the coolest parts about those four pillars would be the high school aspect, right? We need to get more people involved in aviation and you can get more 40 and 50 and 60 year olds involved but you can also get high school students involved, and I guess that's gonna pay dividends for a little bit longer, right? So the high school curriculum is something that I was really curious about and wanted to learn more about, and especially show you guys how you can take advantage of it at your local high school. We are here with Eric and Thomas to talk about the curriculum specifically. So what is that AOPA curriculum that is offered for high schools? What is the AOPA curriculum that's offered for high schools, Eric? Well, it's a four-year program of courses mm -hmm. that are STEM-based, and it gives students a really solid foundation in all the knowledge that's math and science and history related to aviation. So they can pursue a flying career either mm -hmm. as a pilot or a, as a remote pilot. Uh, so we've, we've got a drone pathway and a pilot pathway available to the students. Awesome. And it's a, it's a beautiful program that uh, allows the kids to um, engage in a lot of hands-on activities mm -hmm. to, to make learning the science and math of flying fun. Nice, so this is a state legislator approved curriculum. That's basically what AOPA has done. It's gone out to state legislators, got this curriculum approved, and it's now approved for how many states? Yeah, so right now, this year, we're in 34 states okay. around the country. Um, it's approved to be used in any high school around the country. So it's state. approved for all 50 states. It's in 34 states. How many high schools do you have using it? So this year, we have 161 schools. Okay, 161 states. schools. And how much do you charge those schools to use that curriculum? Absolutely nothing. No. So. We're a completely donor-funded program. And that means the curriculum is free to the, to the schools. And their only expenses involve... Uh, you know, coming out to uh, Frederick for a, a three-day workshop for uh, teacher training, mm -hmm. and that's a very minimal expense. Uh, and, and then uh, the small cost of materials, which we try to keep really low uh, mm -hmm. because they're simple everyday materials. You can get uh, supermarket, Walmart, Home Depot mm -hmm. kind of things uh, for some really exciting activities, though. So this is designed to be four years of your regular science and math and history classes and whatever with an aviation slant. It's going to prepare people for a career as they come out of high school rather than just the gen ed type stuff that it is now. So if somebody wants to use this in their high school, what kind of you know methods do you have or what kind of options do you have for them to start? Say if they're a parent or an administrator, how do they say, hey, AOPA, I want this in our high school. I want to learn more about it. What do you tell them? Yeah, absolutely. So the first thing I would turn, uh, turn people's attention to is our annual high school aviation STEM symposium. Okay. Uh, it's an annual event that we host this past November. It was in Denver, Colorado at the United Airlines Flight Training Center. Mm -hmm. um, next November, it'll be at the Orlando International Airport in Orlando, Florida. Okay. And the symposium is really where anyone can come, whether they be a teacher, a parent, a superintendent, they can come for the two-day event and learn all about the curriculum, what they need to do to get it into their school, mm -hmm. and really get hands-on with some of the activities, as well as learn from uh, some of our current teachers teaching mm -hmm. the curriculum. So is this just like a basic ground school? I mean, are they going to get an endorsement at the end of it? Oh, or? It's way more than a ground school. Way right? more this than a ground is, school. Yeah, Four years of ground yeah, school. For sure. Yeah. But uh, no, we, we really dive deeply into all aspects of, of aviation. Mm -hmm. And um, once the students get to the second semester of the third year or mm -hmm. 11th grade at this point, uh, what they can do is they can make a decision. Do I want to follow a uh, a pilot pathway, you know, to mm -hmm. take the private pilot knowledge test, or would I like to follow a drone pathway where I can mm -hmm. they can take the Part 107 test, mm -hmm. and the students, the teachers, the schools all get to decide mm -hmm. you know, which pathways they want to offer. Being involved in this program is that going to make it a little bit more likely for somebody to be a recipient of one of the AOPA You Can Fly scholarships? Absolutely. So we have um, scholarships dedicated to to teachers. Mm -hmm. um, so that would be a big a mm -hmm. big area for the, the teachers teaching the curriculum. They can apply for those scholarships. Mm -hmm. For uh, them to get their prior pilot training. training. And then Absolutely. for the students themselves, for anything to put on your application that, hey, I'm part of the AOPA STEM curriculum, and I'd like to, and I'm learning all this ground school material at high school, I'd love to become a pilot. Can you give me even more stuff for free? Yeah. And uh, that's what AOPA is here for, right? Absolutely. So, well, cool. Well, I think that kind of covers the curriculum anyways. So appreciate you guys taking the time. Eric, yeah. Thomas, yeah. thank you. If you guys have questions on it, get a hold of them through the PIC line, call into the phone uh, here at AOPA. Tell them, you know, you want to talk to Eric or Thomas or use that email address uh, to get a hold of those guys and they can help you get this set up in your local high school. So. Thanks, guys. Hopefully that gives you guys a little bit better overview of what the high school curriculum is all about from AOPA. 
really cool initiative they have. And I'm pretty convinced that if I had that and offered in my high school, that I probably would have skipped a lot less class if that was actually available to me as a student. Either way, lots of things going on here at AOPA. One of them, of course, is these scholarships. Really take advantage of that. That scholarship window is open now, so you can apply with the link in the description below. Over a million dollars being handed out for 2020. Over 120 scholarships. Doesn't matter what age you are, what gender you are, there is scholarships available for everyone. And ultimately, hopefully this video has shown you that this You Can Fly logo is a lot more than just a shiny logo. It's actual real things that AOPA is doing to try to make it so that you can fly whoever you are, whether you're a rusty pilot, a new pilot, student pilot, somebody who's never been in an airplane before, you can fly. If you wanna know how AOPA can help you, what they're out here to do for you, ultimately, just call them on the PIC line and tell them who you are, where you're at, and say, what can you do to help me fly? That's what the You Can Fly initiative is all about. And if you can't fly every day, Flymycuff.com. We'll see y'all in the next one.